Hi there, in our devotion today, I want to take you to the book of Job, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. It says, In the land of Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. He had seven sons and three daughters, and he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 donkeys, and had a large number of servants. He was the greatest man among all the people of the East. The way this man was introduced in this book is just beautiful. Even though it looks like he was not a Hebrew, but he was from the time of old. And the way, if you look at his, his spiritual life was, it says that he was blameless. He was upright. He feared God and he shunned evil. That means he had an understanding about who God is and he wanted to live a right life. He wanted to do things right. He shunned evil, which means he don't want to harm any, anybody. And God blessed him with seven sons and three daughters. That means he had a big family. And then he owned a lot of uh, animals, which means he may be a nomad. In those days, people, you know, owned a lot of uh, cattle and they move around place to place. So he was a very rich man at that time. And then uh, he also acquired a lot of uh, uh, servants, you know. So that means he had a large number of servants. He was the greatest man among all the people of the East. So the introduction itself tells that he was a wonderful man. He had uh, uh, been blessed so much. And his understanding about God is just wonderful. So what was the problem? The problem was that he began to lose everything. He lost his uh, family. He lost his property. He lost his health. And then he began to question God. And when he began to question God, and he wanted to find out why all these things are happening to him. And so uh, if you come to the last uh, chapter in this book of Job, and chapter 42, if I read a few verses, the understanding of Job and the ability to question God changed. Let me read verse uh, 1 onwards. It says, then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you, you can do all things. No plan of yours can be thwarted. So the understanding of Job right now is that he understood that God is able to uh, do things and uh, no one can stop it. And then verse 3 says in chapter 42, You asked, Who is this that obscure my counsel without knowledge? Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. So even though he tried his best to understand with this knowledge and, and had a great understanding, still he was not able to understand fully about who God is, the creator of the whole universe. And so in verse 4, he says, You said, Listen now, and I will speak. I will question you, and you shall answer me. So God was just uh, challenging him for questioning him. He said, listen, Job, and I will tell you. And then in verse 5, his understanding of God a little more changed. He says, my ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. So he heard of God and he feared God. But right now in this verse, the change is that he says that, but now my eyes have seen you. So there's a vision that he was able to see God and understand. He had a perception of who God is. More than what he heard about God and he himself had a vision of who God is. And what is the result? The result was that, therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. The understanding about who God is changed in Job's life. And then immediately he humbled himself and repented before God. And that brought blessing back to him. So this morning, maybe you are uh, serving God. You are loving God. You understand a lot of things about God. And there are things that happen in your life. You question God. But this morning, I challenge you. God is 
good. He is always good. Anything he does for his children is for our good. And so we have to come to a place of repentance and uh, search ourselves and make ourselves right before God so that we will have a clear understanding of what God is doing in our life because He is willing to reveal things to us. He is a God who wants us to be blessed. And so this morning, I pray that you will have a vision of God, an understanding of God, who He is. He is a loving and a merciful a God who cares. And so uh, reach out to Him and uh, minister by Him every day of your life and be strengthened in your day-to-day -day life. Let God continue to bless you every moment of your life.